Hello, Junior Achievement students. My name is Sean Killen, Consumer Sales Manager with Fulton Bank in both Berks and Chester Counties. I am uh, glad to be with you, uh, although it's not in person, virtually. Hope everyone is uh, doing well and staying safe. Uh, I wanted to talk to you in reference to my career at Fulton Bank. So my career at Fulton Bank started back when I was in high school. Uh, actually, when I graduated high school, I started with the bank as a summer teller and through my college years was a teller at Fulton Bank um, in Lancaster County where I reside. And um, when I was in my senior year of college, I went to a job fair. I uh, went to that job fair and saw Fulton Bank and only knew Fulton Bank as a, uh, as a teller position, which I was doing when I was a uh, senior in high school. And so um, looked into it more and learned about a management trainee for, uh, program that the bank has and applied and uh, here I sit today um, 20 years later and still with the the organization and so um, my path through my time at Fulton Bank was again a management trainee uh, then I went into consumer banking and, and retail banking uh, working with customers day to day and so that's where I saw my passion um, is working with people day to day whether it's with customers or whether it is with uh, co-workers and helping each other. And so I was first an assistant manager at our GAP office in, in Lancaster County. Uh, then I was a uh, manager um, at that office in, um, in Lancaster County. And then there was actually a brief period of time, six months, where I left the organization um, to go work for my uncle. And so it was an opportunity that I thought was uh, something that I didn't want to pass up. And so I did explore it. And I'm glad I did because as I sit here today, um, I'm glad that I uh, went out of Fulton Bank just to see what else was out there. Um, but when I was out at that other job for six months, I did realize that I missed that people connection. And so in the other job, I was uh, working in an office uh, day to day, accounts payable, accounts receivable. Um, and again, that's when I learned that people is, is what I, uh, was what I enjoy. So I came back to the bank as the manager um, and uh, then went up to our Kakaoko office where I was a manager and then also a group manager overseeing uh, numerous financial centers. Um, from there, I went into a group, I'm um, sorry, a sales manager position. So I was managing multiple uh, financial centers in Lancaster County, um, but not in a financial center day to day as a branch manager. Um, from there, I went into, uh, as a group manager, I, I changed geographies. So I came north to Berks County in, uh, as a, uh, again, as a sales manager. And that was a, that was a great choice for me in my career in that it allowed me to expand my, my role outside of what I knew as, as Lancaster County from knowing family, friends, and so forth, and going to an environment where I didn't know as many people. Um, from there, I, was, I then uh, moved on to a um, position continued, as I should say, as a consumer sales manager in both Berks, but then also picked up Chester County. Um, so that was that has been a, and that's where my, my role is today um, as a sales manager in both Berks and Chester Counties. And I will tell you, again, that's been another great opportunity for me um, in picking up more financial centers. Um, having more geography, um, which is challenging. And, um, but again, it, it goes back to my passion of working with customers and then working with uh, coworkers every day to help them achieve their goals personally and as a, as a uh, team member. Um, so what does a typical uh, day look like for me? I would tell you there's no typical day for me. Um, being that I have, there's roughly 120 employees that I work with day to day, there's a lot of variables that happen um, and that keeps my job exciting. Um, that's what I enjoy, the multitasking and, and again, helping people. So I would say there's no one day that looks alike, but to kind of give it a flavor for what it is, is in the morning is really when I try and uh, take my time to really get caught up on things. Uh, whether it was from the day before or kind of set up my day to make sure that it's uh, going to be the most successful day that I can have. Um, and then from there, I have at least one coaching session. So I work with uh, the financial center managers and we talk about you know what their goals are, what their results are, and how we can improve um, both their production 
and then the production of their team. And then it's working on special tasks, you know, as we as an organization are looking to, um, especially in these current times, how do we reshape uh, what does consumer banking look like uh, day to day? So working with my supervisors and my peers throughout the bank in trying to, uh, to strategize. Um, as far as, uh, as, far as my, my education path, um, and that started um, just as you guys are, are, are sitting in high school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do in high school, but I will tell you, uh, when I do teach junior achievement, I go around the room and we talk about, you know, what are the favorite subjects? Uh, my favorite subject was always math, and being in uh, banking, I am doing math day to day, um, and then I'm also working with people day to day. So I, don't, I can't say that when I was in high school, I knew that I wanted to do this. Um, but again, I knew I, I, I liked math and I knew I liked working with people. So I went on to college um, in a management uh, degree at uh, Shippensburg University. From there, I graduated and started with the bank. And uh, about within a year or two, I started in my master's program at Lebanon Valley College uh, while I was working. Um, and again, that was more of a um, review of what I did in college and more of a uh, networking of working with other professionals in the, uh, in the atmosphere of business. So that was a, a great opportunity for me. Um, as far as what, what advice would I give to my younger self is I would say is be open, um, be open to all possibilities, it is don't narrow your focus on one thing. And so um, it's important to uh, you know, be diverse and have conversations with um, someone you might not um, think yourself uh, having a conversation with and what can you learn from that conversation. So again, being, being open to that. Um, and as far as uh, resources, I, what I would say is uh, the biggest thing that I've learned is that networking is so very vitally important. So if you have a family member, a friend, um, a family, a friend of a family member, whatever it might be, any connection that you have to have conversations about whether it's education, school, a job, don't hesitate to reach out to that person and have that conversation. Um, Cause knowing people is a great resource uh, to have and, and, and have that connection and how you can continue your uh, working career and your education career. Um, and as far as a uh, one last thing that, I, that I'll leave you with is never stop learning. Um, I am continuing to learning, uh, continuing to learn every day. Um, I say a bad day is when I don't learn something new. And so I've, I've recently started to do a lot of reading and um, inspirational things and looking for quotes and anything that I can do, uh, especially in these times, to take that information back to, uh, to my team. Like, for instance, yesterday we watched a John Gordon, Matthew McConaughey vid video in reference to mindset. So um, it's very important in these times to have that positive mindset. So what can you do to improve yourself um, and improve the, the people around you? So uh, thank you very much for your time today. I uh, hope everyone, again, is doing safe and doing well, and I wish all of you the best in your college education um, or whatever education you pursue after, um, after high school or your job, uh, if you choose to go into the job field. So best of luck, and stay safe, stay, stay positive, and stay healthy. Take care. Bye.